Hello everybody, my name is Jax and welcome to the channel. So I've uh, finally updated to Unreal Engine 5.4, right? So there's a couple of things I want to go over first. So in this video, I suppose it's not really going to be anything. I'm going to show you how to update in a second and then just a couple of things, but I've updated and, and yeah, so Unreal Engine 5.4, if you want to update from whatever version you're on, right, because I had a bit of a problem with this, I went. you have to open your Epic Epic's Games Launcher. So the first thing that you see when you go on Unreal Engine is this Unreal Engine 5.4 released, and you think, okay, so you press it, right, and then it uh, sends you to this web page, and then it says download up in this top right corner, and then it's got like information about Unreal Engine 5.4, but you don't really need to do that, right? This wasn't clear because, uh, especially if it's the first time updating Unreal for you, right? So, what you have to do, you need to, on your site where you've clicked on Unreal Engine there, you need to go to library and see now mine says 5.1 update, and then I've got this one, 5.41, 5.4.1, and it says launch, right? Well, this option here wasn't on my screen and it probably won't be on your screen, right? So what you need to do, you need to click on there and install a new version of Unreal Engine and then this option will come up and then it will say update there and then you just click it and then you update, right? So that's that, right? And and and, and you sort of just follow the, the prompts like yes and no and well, you, I, I just yesed everything. Firewall has detected this, yes, yes, make changes, yes, all that sort of stuff, right? So. You do all that, right? So, but when you open Unreal, I've got about 12 or so projects running. There's only three or, three or four projects that mean anything to me. The rest are just mess around. But what it will do, right? So see on this bit now, see how this one says current, right? And everything else says 5.1. That means all that stuff is made on 5.1. And what it does, say if I want to open up say this project open this will come up this project was made with a different version of unreal engine opening it with this version of the editor may prevent it opening with the original editor and may lose data we recommend you make a copy to avoid damaging the original right so you what you do is you just you press yes and you accept to make a copy and then it opens it in the new version so um i opened I, I made a copy of this project that I was working on a while ago. This isn't something that I've been working loads on, but yeah, so it, it takes a while to upload. So don't, don't, uh, to, to open up this opened up fast now because I've already gone through the motions of it installing all the shaders and all that. But, um, yeah, so it will run a bit slow to start with, but, um, from what I can make out, I've had a little look around and stuff, and this is the this is just a little a little game I was working on, and you sort of just run around and you moving platforms and stuff like that, and I might I might continue this game because it's quite fun, quite a fun little game, just little moving platforms. But that's not the, and then you have to turn off the broken ah. Why isn't that doing anything? Yeah, but so what I could make out, what I could make out, right? Um, nothing's really changed. It's all, it's all, it's all there basically. That's what I was, that's what I was gonna say. So, so everything just works the same as it did before. So, uh, that's not a problem. But so there's a couple of new things in Unreal Engine that there's there's a load of new things by the way, but um. I haven't even started to look at any of them, but what I have have looked at is a uh, texture graph. So there's this there's this new feature called texture graph, and you can actually make your own textures. So I made this little brick. I mean, it only took me a few minutes, but big shout out to um, Render Bucket because it was his tutorial that I watched to see how to use some of these uh features so yeah i made that you can and you can so that's an output look 
and that that output will be called first texture test over here and you just press export and look it tells you what textures do you want to export and then you export it so you can have like i think you can have like four or five different textures there and you can make normals and you can make uh, all different textures press export and then they export to an actual texture and and then you've just got a texture which is brilliant because sometimes i'm trying to find textures that i want and you can't um you, you know they've either got um watermarks on them when you try and download them or or anything you know or you have to use the standard ones and stuff whereas with this you can just drag a noise in and then you can just change change how that noise looks change the amplitude you know so it's kind of like the same way as materials works it's all in blueprints and nodes but you can actually export it as a texture and then you've got your texture that you can use in a material another thing that i've been looking at and this is shout out to smart poly um was substrate materials and and that's this look at this material pretty cool and substrate i think when i'm using subsurface and stuff in um in blender i think uh it's basically that when light shines into something what it looks like when light goes through it that's my understanding of what substrate is so the light is shining into this and it's causing like a sort of purple inside type so that's my understanding but you have just got standard standard um shading if you want to bring up sub surface materials you have to bring these substrate slabs but because it's kind of like an experimental thing at the moment everything to do with the substrate in the search is called substrate so you see th that's kind of a bit of a flaw actually everything has sub substrate add substrate converger substrate horizontal blend so when you're searching for stuff in here substrate is the first word see so um they might need to sort that out but they obviously know better than i do so um they know what they're doing it's probably so they can compartmentalize it into one but i don't know but yes yeah, so, but i'm really looking forward to looking working with these substrate materials and i'm really looking forward to making my own textures and um and substrates with the textures that i make and and just niagara effects you because because that's the thing that's what's really good about the texture um what's really good about the texture graphing is that you can use all these you can use all these uh textures in like niagara's and stuff like that so yeah really 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 good stuff man i'm so glad that you updated uh i am gonna have to open my other projects and make sure that all of them work but i'm just a little bit worried at the moment um i will do it i have to do it anyway so but yeah so if you want the um if you want the texture graph thing you have to go to project no if you want the substrate thing you have to go to project settings go substrate and then substrate materials you have to click and it a, a, a message will come up it says it's experimental you just click yes and then reset and start again that's in project settings if you want the texture graph thing you have to go to plugins and go to texture graph and then just click that experimental click restart and restart um the engine the engine yes yeah, just restart unreal but yeah that's about it guys um i don't know if i'm going to be working on my main games at the moment that i've been working on in the last day vlogs just because some of this stuff is so new to me now that i feel like i'm sort of almost having to start again because i want to look at um motion matching and i want to look at the the rigs and the animation part of it all and the, the motion there's something else to do motion so there's there's 
motion matching, which is when the, it moves the player in the way you want it to move. But then there's um, motion making or something. I can't remember, but it's, it's something else. But there's a lot of stuff to do with animation in the new 5.4 as well. So, yeah, I'd advise to... It, I mean, like, actually, I wouldn't advise. <laughs> but if you're just like me and you're new to Unreal and you haven't got... Uh, you haven't gone really deep into projects where losing them would be a massive well to be honest if i lost all my projects it'd be a massive failure but um i don't think that's going to happen it's just going to tell me to make a copy and and anything that doesn't work in the new version i'm just going to have to sort of probably slightly rewire and things like that but i don't think you're going to lose much by updating and it keeps you ahead of the curve and it, it keeps you um knowing what all the new stuff is and, and experimenting with all the new stuff but yeah i'd recommend updating but but like I say i am a beginner so i um wouldn't know smart poly motion matching tutorial i might have to check that out that just popped up on my youtube but yeah um that that's about it for today's video guys uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye